Guys, 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 guys. It's time. It's time. I'm so excited. It's time. We are ready to start work on my very first ever mega build. Let me just do a little, a little happy dance here. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You can see I've been sketching out parts of it with wool and oh, it's so cool to even just see the first little bits of it take shape. Also, I made myself a cute new skin and I love it. What do you think? We're wearing a very white and blue and frosty skin because, because this beautiful build planned behind me, it's going to be an ice castle. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, of course, a mega build takes mega materials. So I have been collecting materials for so long. Now, I've actually been collecting materials for this for a while, so we've got shulkers and shulkers of things. Um, all of my full shulker boxes are in here. We also have partial shulker boxes, like this has a bunch of detail stuff in it. Uh, we're going to need a lot more of all of these blocks, but this is what I have at the moment. I also have way more ice and packed ice than is there. You can see I have almost four shulker boxes of packed ice here and four more plus a bit of, of ice shulker boxes as well. That may not be enough. I have zero idea how to like gauge just how much material I'm gonna need. So hey, we may have to build an ice farm at some point, but I already have one picked out. So like, if we need to, we'll do it. But for this build, I'm definitely aiming for a slightly darker, uh, growing out of the mountain kind of vibe with this. There we go. That's a nice layout. I like it. And you can also kind of see our color palette with it. We obviously don't have ones for the glass and ice. You know, shulker monsters get pretty shulker monstery really fast, but I feel like this is going to keep me from making too many of those. Ah, yes, we are going to be living in our leather boots for this project, which means I should probably put like actual enchants on them. They don't have any. Feather falling, I can imagine is great for uh for a mega build like that seems like a common sense move as you can see i've i've pretty much just laid out the facade of it and you can see some of the shapes that we're going to be uh working with this is well the initial inspiration for it was some some of the concept art from frozen actually now for this project, I'm planning to work with the shape of the mountains around as much as possible. Um, we will be, you know, digging out some areas, which is why we're setting up a beacon right now. But for the most part, I'm trying to keep it integrated with and within the bounds of the mountains that are already here and already existing. Like these mountains, these mountains are gorgeous. We don't need to change them. We're going to dig this area of the mountain out. Now I said we're not going to change much, and we're not. But this area needs to be brought down so that we can actually build within it. Okay, so I've alluded to in, I think, a recent video that I have been working in creative and sketching out my plans for this project. Basically, I have been sketching out my ideas in creative, I haven't built a cohesive build of it and I don't plan to. Um, I'm planning to take the ideas and the concepts and the shapes that I've played with and translate them here into survival without, without a specific plan. So like these towers are kind of sketched out. They're not necessarily from anything specific I did in creative and I may not follow the shape that I have sketched out in the wool completely. But I have determined my color palette and played with some different like dome shapes and figured out which ones I like the most. I feel like I keep saying I'm so excited over and over. I don't know, can you tell I'm excited about this project? Oh yeah, that's, that's looking awesome that's gonna make a lot of space i think the rest of these i'm actually going to dig into the mountains um but leave the peaks there 
I'm just gonna keep digging. I will see you later when I have something interesting to share, I guess. Well, it hasn't been that long since I uh, said I was gonna start digging, but uh, we've done a lot of digging. Like, a lot, a lot of digging. So this is our entrance that we're gonna be building very shortly. And this is the area that I've dug out so far. And like, there's gonna be a lot more digging out, especially side to side. Um, but this kind of gave me a bit of an idea of like the scope of things in actual survival and not a flat world. And yeah, kind of, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. I can like see things shaping up in my brain now. It's so cool. I love it. I've realized that the first birthday of this channel passed recently. And for some reason I thought it was in October. And so I wasn't like keeping a super close eye on it. And then I realized... Oh my gosh, my first video was published on September 13th last year. So this feels kind of appropriate to like be building this. I don't know, my very first mega base build of any any kind. So instead of a cake, maybe let's go ahead and make the first bits of this. But it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. I'm gonna get building. I can't believe I'm starting to put blocks down for this. Like I'm losing my mind here a little bit. I'm so excited. Okay, time lapse time. Okay, I I love it. Oh my gosh, I just I am very very proud of the general design of all of this. You really oh, it's so huge. I haven't tried like walking up to it yet. This is going to be, you know, the path up to the castle. <gasps> oh, oh, I love it. This uh this one ended up a little bit taller than I had originally sketched out in the wool and I think that's going to kind of hold true for all of our different all of our different towers here but oh my gosh I'm obsessed I am internally squealing but I'm not going to squeal into the mic because it's going to be unpleasant for everybody Oh my god I'm so happy though let me tell you, it has been a very different experience building this in survival than it was in creative. This ice is so slippery. And we have had a couple of mobs spawning in down there. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to pretend everything's okay. We're really good at denial around here. Okay. I think what I want to do is I want to put in at least one more tower and then the front with the archway and everything for the for the entrance i think that's what i want to finish up today As it loads in, oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, this second tower is gonna get a little bit of a special treatment. Let's see. So we are gonna break into the top here. Oh yeah, that'll be barely noticeable. Perfect. I've been doing this stupid slipping around corners things thing far more than I am comfortable with today. Uh, and there we go. And then we turn on the beacon and power it up. And let's give this one strength and regen. That sounds like a decent thing. Can you do just regen? I wonder. No. No, you have to pick 
another one. Okay, cool. Awesome. Alright. I am not good at flying straight up. Ah, there we go. Oh, that is too far away. It's not even reaching us. Ah, well. Let's just take a little seat on the tower as the sun sets and have ourselves a piece of cake. Because I just ate. Oh, no. But while we're up here, let's just take a look at uh, how they look. They've got that little bit of a glow. I might go ahead and put glow like in at the top of the ice as well. I think that might be a good idea. Now, I've smelted three stacks of smooth quartz blocks, and I think I'm probably going to need more. So, I will get those going right away. Now, in my original, like, creative world sketch of this design, I used quartz stairs, but I don't think we'll actually need to do that. So, we're going to just need some more, you guessed it, Ice and packed ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, the original, like, sketch kind of thing that I did in Creative, um, like, a lot of the pieces were smaller. Honestly, it wasn't until I started designing the interior that I realized just how much, like... Did we lose... Ah, there it is. Uh... I didn't, I didn't realize just how big I was wanting to make this. Now, I only just remembered that I'm going to need a lot more quartz because we're actually going to have, like, full, like, this, this whole archway is going to be filled with quartz. Um, like, between these two legs, all of that is also going to be quartz. So... Yeah, I may need to be smelting a bit more. I I plan to make a super smelter in here somewhere soonish, and I feel like I should be doing that already because I'm smelting so much stuff for this. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that instead of an ice farm. That might be that might be a good plan. I may need a second to like figure things out though for that. Alrighty, after a little bit of, uh, reflection, looking at things, researching things, all of that, I think what I need is not a super smelter, just a, an auto smelter with a reasonable capacity. Um, and I think for that, we're gonna go ahead and put this down in the lower level of the cave here. Or, like, the, the, the level that's, like, right underneath this. I think that's where we're gonna go. I'm gonna need more than that. But that means that we have to go have a little adventure and light things up. I don't like that. At all. There's a zombie and a creeper. Let's get the creeper. Ba-joom. Ba-doom. Ah! There's so many. So many. Was that a reinforcement mechanic? Because that feels like it was a reinforcement mechanic. Alright. I didn't actually get the creeper. Okay. Now I got the creeper. Alrighty. There's a spider over there now. Jeez. They just never stop, do they? Doom ba doom ba doom ba doom. We're just gonna spam light things. Oh, there's more down here. Great! That's exactly what I want to see. More things to light up. I hate caves, I hate caves, I hate caves, I hate caves, I hate caves. Ah! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine! Alright, that's a new cave spot. We're gonna just seal that off and pretend it doesn't exist right now. So, basically, the second level, or what I'm calling the second level in my planning, there we go, um, is gonna be our actual like functional base areas i'm gonna put in a big old storage system eventually um i'm gonna put in a smelter i'm gonna put in so many things some of them will be decorative some of them will be functional some of them will be both uh but the top layer is our ice castle which is gonna have our enchanting area but not much else as far as functionality goes um and then we we're, we're gonna just move into this cave system and, yeah, start living in it. 
starting now, I guess. All right, well, it's an imperfect system at the moment, but I'm not gonna stress about it too much. I just need this set up to do quartz right now. And we will refine it later, I guess. Let's go grab the things that we need for our uh, unloading system. Okay, so now, yeah, these are starting to get perfect, perfect. Okay, so the last thing we need to do then is this minecart unloader. And we're going to use, uh, what's his name, Il Mango's. Il Mango's little breaker because I just think it's neat. What's the correct terminology for this? Obviously, it's not super smelter. Is it like furnace array or something like that? Hey, look at this. Nice. Oh, that was fun to watch light up. Ah, that's so pretty. Now, I think we're going to work the wall into the mountain in some way or another. Some of that's going to depend on how our interior goes as well, so it may change later. And, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Tragedy! Travesty! No! 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 Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, here's the thing. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should take this gradient and also add it to the wall a little bit? I don't know. I don't know. That will be another design thing we think about, I guess. Okay, we have added our next section of wall in, and I've made a few changes here and there. Um, if we hop back into the free cam, which is the best building tool ever, not gonna lie. Um, we can see that I expanded this pack ice edging and I've only brought this wall over a little ways um, I'm debating exactly how far that wall is going to extend but we will work that out as we work it out we're gonna need a lot more quartz smelted I should probably go stick that in the smelter right now but just to show kind of what the wall design looks like and then we put a soul lantern up there, which means if we break this, what do our light levels look like? They look reasonable still. Um, I may cover the top of this in carpet. Not 100% sure yet. My question now is if this wall is high enough. Cause like, I feel like it's a decent height for a player, but I don't know if it matches the scale of the rest of this thing. Or if maybe we should even move it like one higher. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try that on this side, I think. And see how I feel about it. I feel like I feel like that fits better. And then of course we'll move the wall and lantern up one as well. Ah, uh, yeah, the snow is a consideration. If we don't, if we don't carpet this, it's just gonna build up snow weirdly, and I don't want that. So I think we will go ahead and just like add, add light blue carpet along this. Ah, uh, well, I think that this is going to be best viewable at night, but while we wait for it to turn night, um, I genuinely am curious about other people's opinions, especially on if we should kind of give this same gradient to our wall here. Just look at that. Just look at that. This is fantastic. I almost hit my head there. It's huge. Oh my gosh. I, we definitely, we definitely are going to need a, an ice farm a little bit sooner than I thought. This wall took so much and I was not prepared for that. So I think our like next two farm projects are both going to be pretty big. Um, we'll be doing the ice farm and the, the skulk guardian farm because I need 
all of those materials. I need the skulk. I need the prismarine. I need the ice. Yeah! So, those are the upcoming projects. And I feel like I got so much started today. Like, I, I wasn't exactly expecting to get this far in this episode. But I'm delighted that I did. You know, I still didn't even get a slice of this birthday cake. So we're going to go into the thin sliver of area that's away from our region beacon. And we're going to go slam. No. No, we're going to go slam. There we go. And maybe that'll take... No, 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 no. Our region is still on. Go away, region. All right, one more time. Oh. My connection still looks okay. What's up with that? All right, heal up, heal up. Alrighty, well, let's hop up here as the sun goes down. Grab ourselves a slice of birthday cake. And just take a quick little look at this thing. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed. As we take a last look at this build in the in the moonlight or the sunset or something, I wanted to let you know that I have a Buy Me a Coffee page and I'm sharing some of the art inspiring this build over there. So go check it out. Links in the description, of course. It feels like I've entered a new personal era of Minecraft and I'm so ready to see where it goes. If you want to hang around for the ride, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'll see you around. Bye!